Now we'll see how to deploy a complete ZK app, that is the contract and the UI both. We'll start by setting up and deploying our smart contracts. We have already covered how to deploy our smart contract on the Berkeley testnet when we covered the Squire example earlier. We'll do that once again. We have successfully submitted a transaction to deploy our Squire smart contract on the Berkeley testnet. We'll monitor its status by copying the transaction hash and checking its status on the MENA scan explorer. So we see that our transaction has been successful, which means our ZK app was deployed successfully. This is the address of the ZK app. We'll copy it because we'll use it to configure in our UI. Next we'll configure the ZK app smart contract in a UI and then we'll test the UI locally. So first we'll start by replacing this ZK app address by the address of our own ZK app. Now we'll run this UI locally. A UI is hosted at localhost 3000. So we'll go there. You'll see the Okay, so our UI is loaded completely now. It shows us the current state of our ZK app. Using this button, we can get the latest state of our ZK app if we are making any updates. Here we can add any value. This should be the square of the current value in ZK app. Only then it would update the num value in ZK app. Otherwise, we'll get an error. Using this button, we can send a transaction to update the value of ZK app. Here you can see that our web worker was loaded, a Berkeley instance was created, our ZK app was compiled and configured, and then we printed the current state of a ZK app, which is 3. Ok, now we'll play around with the UI. Let's start by giving a wrong value first. We'll enter 2 
and try to start a transaction. So we got an error because 2 is not a square of 3. Let's see what happens if we enter the square of 3 here and submit the transaction. So you can see it created a transaction, then it created a proof, then it created a request to send the transaction which we approved via our Oro wallet and then we submitted the transaction successfully. We can check the status of our transaction by going to this link. So we can see that our transaction was successful. Now let's check the current state of our ZK app again. We'll update it using this button. Awesome. So our ZK app state was updated successfully. So that's how we deploy a complete ZK app that is a UI along with the smart contract.